Hola from Disney Springs, where we are going to be beginning the celebration of Hispanic and Latin American Heritage Month. Yes, here in the U.S., we celebrate every month something or another, so often <laughs> that we have to start this one in the middle of the month. So September 15th through October 15th is the official Hispanic and Latin American Heritage Month. And Disney has all kinds of really great food that we're, well, we hope it's really great food and drinks that we're going to try. So today is Disney Springs and then a boat ride to Saratoga. We're going to start here at Everglades Donuts. Everglades created a Dulce de Chocolate Donut for Hispanic Month. It's described as a cinnamon sugar coated confection filled with Dulce de Leche cream and iced with Mexican chocolate. So it is just a drizzle. I kind of somehow was thinking it would be dipped. I don't know why. Looks pretty good. Very sticky cream in there. Dulce de Leche cream. It's delicious, very caramely like it should be, very sticky. I'm going to be a mess when I finish this, but it is delicious. The caramel with the cinnamon sugar is going really well. Well, it's absolutely delicious. The texture of the donut is perfect. The center is creamy and delicious. And I'm so messy to eat. You need lots of napkins, but it's definitely worth it. The next stop on our tour is Cilantro Urban Eateries. It's a food truck here in Disney Springs. So here at Cilantro Urban Eatery, we are trying the arepa and cantata. It's two arepas, South American gluten-free white corn meal paste, stuffed with mozzarella cheese, with crema dip. We are adding Colombian chorizo for two more dollars. So two arepas for $12 total, including chorizo. I have not had the best luck with arepas. One said it was made from grandmother's recipe. The other was frozen. So we'll try food truck. It's butter. It's a lot better. Use a little salt. But we'll try their crema dip. It does have some cilantro, which if you've been following us for long, you know I'm not a huge cilantro fan. But it's not super strong. That's pretty good. It's a elevated grilled cheese and chorizo. Have to get those bites together, it'll be wonderful. Cheese and sausage. What could go wrong? I think I'm really going to enjoy this. I'm going to take this with some ice and see if I can have a little of both at the same time. Not happy shabby. The corn flavor really comes through on the arepa, and I wasn't really expecting that, but it's delicious. The sausage is good. This is really nice. Try the crema. I should try it with crema. Sausage with crema. Oh, I like the crema. That's really good. This is, this is really great. This is a great dish. For our next treat, we're headed over to Splitsville Luxury Lanes, a bowling alley here at Disney Springs for our next treat. So we ran over to Splitsville right across the way from Everglades for their Passion Fruit Paloma. That's their special drink this month. So passion fruit, grapefruit soda, tequila, prickly pear. It's a prickly pear passion fruit. So super excited. Splitsville is not cheap. This drink is $15.98 without a tip. <laughs> good though. It's good. It's really good. Very refreshing. Slightly salty. Oh, I like that a lot. Alright, my turn. Tart, a little acidic, quite refreshing and will be good to wash down the cheese and sausage. Now we're headed over to get on a boat and head over to Saratoga Springs. Taking the watercraft is one of my favorite forms of Disney transportation. Here's our ride to Saratoga Springs, the Jazz Queen.
We've made it to Saratoga Springs, and now we're headed up to the Artist Palette. I decided with all the sugar today, I needed something a little more than the arepas. So let's just have a kid's meal, right? Share a little bit. They have a meatball pomodoro over polenta. That sounded good. The regular Mickey Check meal is that with a side of grapes and a side of carrot sticks. So that, well, that'll be nice and refreshing. The mobile order didn't have that option. I can choose between house-made chips or chocolate chip cookie. Number one, we have enough sugar. Number two, their chocolate chip cookies here are prepackaged and they're not very good. So I got chips. We do also get a bottle of water or milk or soft drink. So I got that Coke for us to share, get a little cake of caffeine there. The chips, huge serving. Okay, that's cool. Great big serving of house made potato chips. Probably more than we need. Eight dollars gets you a bowl of polenta with one tiny meatball. So they don't meet their Mickey check standards because there's no fruits or vegetables here. And I don't think one meatball is really good enough even for a kid's meal. I don't know if this is how it's always been or if this is part of Bob Paycheck's cutting quarters on things, but I am not a happy camper. It smells good. I hope it tastes great, but I would not buy it again on a dare. The adult version is, I want to say 14 or $15. I'd be very interested to see how many meatballs you get on that. But what we're really here for is a Bruno's Vision. Bruno's Vision doesn't come cheap, but it is a Disney's cupcake. It's $6.70 after tax. It is a Tres Leches vanilla cupcake filled with dulce de leche, topped with whipped cream, and sugar vision shards, they call it. So it's sugar glass. Color to green for Bruno, of course. So an interesting story on this one. I looked at it in the display case, and it looked fine. And then I walked over to the cooler where you get your cupcakes out, and all of the vision glass had melted on top. They weren't pretty anymore. So I went and asked one of the nice cast members if she could get me the one out of the case. She looked at me and said, I'm not sure how old that one is. I thought, oh no, that's a display one. It might have been in there for a couple of days, probably pretty yucky. She said, let me go back into the back and see if we have any more. Because there were only two in the cooler where you pull them out. She came back and had a whole tray full of them and let me pick which one I wanted. That was Deborah. I went to compliment her to the manager. Turned out she is the manager. If you're ever over here at Saratoga Springs, be sure to say hi to Deborah from Brazil. Usually Disney cupcakes are cupcakes in some sort of wrapper. Now this is more like a little cake. So I'm not sure how it's filled. It's definitely topped with a whipped cream sort of thing. That's pretty good. I don't know about Dolce de Leche, but I'm definitely getting the cinnamon from the churro flavor. There's a little cinnamon in the crunch. Looks like maybe a graham cracker sort of topping. I'm not sure. I'm still not sure about a filling, unless it's just under the whipped cream, but it, it, it tastes wonderful. This is really tasty. It's gonna be hard to share. Unlike the meatball pomodoro, very disappointing. That single tiny meatball, is not seasoned well at all. It's not tough, but still rather dry. Desperately needs salt. Whatever seasoning is there is just not quite right. The pomodoro's okay. Polenta's nice and creamy. It's got a little cheese to it. Unfortunately, the more I ate, the more I realized it also has a fair bit of garlic. And garlic and I don't get along well anymore. I used to be able to eat garlic all the time. Things change. Garlic and I are not friends. I'm not gonna get that one again, no matter what. The chips were old, greasy. I mean, they weren't stale, but they definitely were not fresh, fresh. And they were greasy and not salty either. Thank heavens for Bruno's vision. Unlike the usual visions, this one is a bit of good news. All right. Well, it looks like I am going to be talking about Bruno. I'm gonna have some of this Bruno vision. Mmm, sweet. I got the cinnamon, a little crunch from the uh, vision glass. <laughs> this is really tasty. I like it a lot. And I would 
probably eat three or four of these, but I'm not going to. Well, we've come back to Disney Springs. The bus from Saratoga Springs was the second bus that was supposed to be there. Somehow or another, whenever we wait for a bus, the one that is scheduled next doesn't show up. <laughs> we thought we'd come back by bus because we'd be closer to the car, and then we'd take the car over to Port Orleans. They no longer have the loop on the boat from Saratoga to Port Orleans. You have to come back to the marketplace. We've decided that we're gonna call it a day for today. That Bruno's Vision Cupcake was so good. What if Port Orleans isn't as good? That would be sad. Yeah, and we have to talk about that. It was, it was just lovely. We'll be talking about Bruno, or at least Bruno's Vision, for quite some time. We might come back and get another one. The donut was very good. The drink was very nice. I accidentally said passion fruit. It was really a prickly pear Paloma. I think that might be where some of the salt was but it was prickly pear, lime, uh, tequila, and grapefruit soda. Very tart, very refreshing, very expensive. <laughs> you know, I said I liked it, and I did at first, but it was just a little tart for me, so take that in mind. If you enjoyed this video, like the video, subscribe if you haven't already, leave comments. We love comments. We don't get very many though, so. We don't, and I like to talk to people, so please come over and ask a question or make a comment so I can talk back. <laughs> are you on social media? So are we. Come on over and see us at Our Life Go on Instagram and Our Life on the Go on Facebook. And with that said, I'm Art. I'm Elizabeth. And this is Our, Our Life, Life on, on the, the Go. go.